How's it going everyone? Welcome back. And here is how to solve the FaceTime a stock ad verifying on your iPhone. You can see this picture, for example, that had problems early. It only says verifying to my phone number. If you ever encounter these similar problems with your phone numbers or Apple ID on your FaceTime, then watch that entire video to learn an easy way to solve the problem. So let's go. The first things we're going to do, we're going to do the troubleshoot for the phone number. In that case, we're going to head over to the Apple ID from our iPhone settings. And then we have to simply tap on sign in to security here. So if you come over here, you can literally see my phone number. It's actually actually says unavailable for iMessage and FaceTime. If it shows the same thing here, select the phone number, tap remove from account, tap remove from account again. And then you have to re-add the phone number from your iPhone. You can tap add email or phone number, select phone number here, and simply select your phone number, tap continue, and this will give you a code. Get the code and simply set it up as it is. Once your phone number has been added here, get out of here, restart your iPhone, and then your problem mostly will be solved. However, if you see, well, you have just done that work, but still you have the same problems, the next things we're gonna take a look at, we gotta go to the settings, tap on Apple ID here, simply select on iCloud, tap see all, find out your FaceTime. Simply select the phone and FaceTime, simply turn it off, wait for some time, turn it back on here, and you gotta do kind of like same thing for the application as well. Just open up your FaceTime uh, from the app, like you have to come to the app from the settings here, and type FaceTime, select the FaceTime here, and turn up the FaceTime directly from the iPhone settings here and then re-enable it back again and after that check out your problems. Now still if you have problems there are a few other settings that you really really want to take a look at on your iPhone. First the locations and date and time and the restriction. So let's go and open up our settings again and scroll down to general and here we got to just go to that uh, location so simply tap a uh, language and region here and now simply select the region so make sure you're selecting your current region since i'm from Bangladesh, i'm going to select that one if you are from us or canada or anywhere else just simply go ahead and select your own country and now you got to go back here and scroll it up tap on iphone storage and find out your facetime here select that select offload app tap offload app again and then tap reinstall app now mostly doing this your problem is going to be solved unless your FaceTime is restricted from your iPhone. If it's the case, then all you gotta do, you gotta head over to settings on last times, scroll down here, tap screen time, scroll down to content and privacy restrictions, uh, simply select allowed apps. So make sure the FaceTime is enabled from here and uh, make sure you're actually um, not like you're not enabling this feature as well turn this off after that process i showed you earlier get out of here and check out your problems if none of those worked you got to do the reset all settings it's not going to remove any anything from your iphone so you can open up your settings go to the general and you have to scroll down to the bottom tap transfer or reset iphone select reset and simply select reset all settings now keep in mind it will only remove your wi-fi password so what this will do it will only just change your wallpapers on iPhone and we'll just remove the Wi-Fi password, but it will not delete any of our data so you can feel free to do it. And after that, check out your problem. So I can tell you guys after following all of the process, your problem is going to be solved. However, if you still a problem, please do let me know in the comment section, guys. See you all around.